Hello, my name is Brian Lehman, the eHermit, and I wanted to demonstrate version 2 of the Per Page Sidebars plugin. The Per Page Sidebars plugin allows you to add a custom sidebar to any one of your pages, or in version 2, any one of your posts as well. And we're looking at the Northeast Ohio WordPress Meetup demonstration site that we build up and tear down at each meeting. And in this example, you can see that, okay, we've got a custom sidebar on the front page. If we go to a normal page, it has the normal main sidebar that would normally come up on every page on this site. And this site is using the 2010 theme. And I want to show you how this particular setup works. I'm going to go into edit page here. Actually, I will do it on the post page and go into edit page. And you're going to see that when you're editing the content of a page, there's an extra meta box down here. And inside that meta box, we have a checkbox to activate a custom sidebar and choose which of the sidebars you want to replace. So you can replace any one of these sidebars. And in checking this value here, if you now go over to the widgets area, you can see that you have a number of per page sidebars buttons. So we were looking at the post page. So the name of the post or the name of the page in that case was this is the post page and we can do the drop down and we can add any number of widgets we want to to this area. Now normally the 2010 theme only supports the one sidebar on the side and as you saw from the demonstration earlier this sidebar was not displayed on the posts page. So I'm going to hit my back button. And we are on the This is a Post page. And this is the page that shows all the different posts that are available. And you're going to see that, OK, there it is. There it has the Post page sidebar. If I edit this page again and deactivate that and hit Update, Once I view the page, the main sidebar that normally would be visible is there. And that's the functionality of this plugin. Uh, version 2 not only allows you to do replacements on pages, but it also allows you to do it on posts. So if we go into this post, we can see that it's got its own custom sidebar. A post with custom sidebar sidebar. Okay. That's really pretty much it. The plugin is very simple to use. It doesn't have any configuration page or anything like that. All it does is it adds that custom meta box to the edit a post or edit a page page. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to edit this post. And you can see there's the custom sidebar meta box. And just like with any other meta box, the exact order that it's in depends upon what plugins you have installed and what meta boxes they add. So it might not be right underneath the edit area. It might be way down further. Additionally, you may have to make it visible by going in screen options. If this is unchecked, that box simply wouldn't appear. All right. Well, that's how the plugin works. And if you have any other questions, please let me know and I'd be uh, glad to answer them. Um, you can either leave a comment on my website, thecodecave.com, or contact me via the eHermits Inc. email address that's in the plugin, or you can go to the uh, wordpress.org plugins page and add a question there to the forum and somebody should be able to help you out. All right, that's it. Thank you very much. eHermit, out.